Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hall and this is your new moon reading with spiritual guidance spanning from January 16th through the 30th, 2018. Our new moon is in the sign of the grounded, focused, hardworking Capricorn with strong energetic influences coming in from the planet Saturn. Saturn is a planet that can often highlight life's challenges, but know that right now this is actually a very good thing because it is helping us to do the inner work necessary to become clear, productive, and empowered in manifesting our goals and dreams. Just the energy that we need. Many of us are going to be feeling a strong, inspired desire to get back to work and take practical action steps towards our dreams. Though your long-term vision is perhaps starry-eyed, dreamy, and idealistic, your feet are going to remain firmly on the ground as you act towards the necessary physical steps needed to manifest your goals. This is a really great time to put an extra burst of energy and devotion towards your fitness routine and your health regimen. I'm feeling the angels remind us that Physical health and strength acts as such a foundation for success in all areas of our lives. So love yourself and your body by working or playing hard to get your heartbeat racing and your body feeling strong and energized. Now, another energy that we have coming into this moon cycle is one of karmic release. Remember the old saying, you reap what you sow? Well, now is a time when old patterns, memories, or cycles may be resurfacing to show you the results of previous choices that you've made. Even if this brings up challenges, vulnerabilities, or fears, know that you have the power to see your way through it in a healing, empowering manner, and don't go into thoughts of self-doubt. Know that God never gives you a challenge that you aren't perfectly equipped to handle. So move through any difficult experiences with faith. Call on your angels and look for the lessons and the blessings in the situation. Every situation, especially the challenging ones, are opportunities to set a new precedent of love, integrity, harmony, and wellness in your life. So it will be helpful at this time to respond to everything with love, forgiveness, and understanding. And you'll thrive through life's lessons in this moon cycle if you do that. So let's go to our cards to get some further angel guidance on this moon cycle. Today I am working with the Angel Tarot deck as this is very helpful in getting details on all areas of life, including useful guidance through life's challenges. As always, we will simply shuffle our deck and trust Law of Attraction to see which messages come forward. So our first card is the Hermit card. The Hermit. So the Hermit is actually a very profound card. This is a piece of guidance that is telling us that it may be a good time in our lives to retreat to spend some time on our own. Whenever we see the hermit, the hermit is a sign that you have the ability to grow immensely at the inner spiritual level through any retreating or alone time that you spend. Classically, when you think of the hermit, the hermit is a figure who retreats to a very remote place, maybe the cave at the top of the mountain or the hut out in the middle of the desert or the woods or something like that. And what happens is that oftentimes the people will go to the hermit to receive wisdom. You go out into the wilderness to find the answer that you need. What is symbolic of this time as we become the hermit, or as we take our time to retreat and get a little more alone time, is that you're learning immensely. You are sharpening your wisdom, your skills, and your ideas. And what you receive is directly fueling what you'll then take out into the world so that you can be of service. 
So definitely take that time to set aside and spend it on introspection and contemplation. Um, there just seems to be so much that the, the universe, that spirit, your angels want to communicate with you right now. So spend a little extra time in meditation, I would say, especially around the new moon. And um, as, as well, I'm hearing your angels say, get some extra sleep because they're able to work with you and teach you at the spiritual level during your dream time. Okay, great. So let's see what our second card has to say. We have the Ace of Earth. Ace of Earth. So this is a really great card. Ace of Earth is kind of exciting because it shows us that there are some great new opportunities that are coming up in your life. We see Ace of Earth when we're at the very beginning of a brand new venture in our lives that is bringing a ton of abundance and creative support, sometimes even collaboration from others coming in that helps us really skyrocket and make things take off in our lives. So that time that we spend in the beginning of the moon cycle, really retreating and taking care of ourselves, listening to our inner feelings and ideas, pays off because by the mid part of this moon cycle, we're already starting to see some outside world results. We're seeing um, our creative work and our goals begin to fruition, blossom, manifest, and it's boots to the ground where we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and see what our third card has to say for this moon cycle. Wow, okay, six of water. Six of water. The six of water is a card that's all about deeper emotions within us. It's essentially telling us that through this moon cycle, you are getting this powerful opportunity to revisit past cycles in your life and then to heal or release. Everything is an opportunity to get into a higher state, even if it is challenging. But pay attention if there are any previous patterns, um, memories, cycles, or rhythms that come up in your life. Um, these are here for a reason right now. You are being called upon to work on these things directly so that you can make a positive difference in your life. One of the amazing things that I'm getting is that this moon cycle is kind of busy. Um, not busy in the sense of maybe outer everyday life stuff really filling up. Um, perhaps it will for you, but really in the sense of inner work going on. There is a lot that we are doing, so um, really take plenty of time to care for yourself um, and certainly to capitalize on these extra waves of energy or inspiration that you might have, either to work on things related to your purpose or certainly to flush out and to heal um, emotional stuff from the past. It all pays off immensely and I'm hearing the angels say, planting good seeds. This moon cycle is all about planting seeds that are going to be coming up in later karmic cycles that you can benefit from in the way of wonderful new things that you'll be manifesting. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I've made a new video for you. You can keep in touch with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and follow my live monthly podcast called Through the Eyes of the Angels via the links in the description below. And my next live episode of Through the Eyes of the Angels is airing this Thursday, January 18th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern on the Bring Me to Life network at www.bringmetolife.com. And I will be discussing manifestation for the new year. You'll, of course, also get a chance to call in for a live angel reading on the air. So be sure to tune in for that. I'm so excited to connect with you. And as always, if you would like your own spiritual coaching, healing, or an angel reading session, you can visit my website at www.sarahhall.com. Thank you so much again for tuning in and know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye.